Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're covering AC Ohm's laws. One thing to note is that in this video, we're only going to be covering AC laws as it relates to resistive circuits. So we're not going to be touching impedance. I haven't covered capacitors or inductors as part of this playlist yet. So I'm going to keep it simple and just deal with the AC power laws and Ohm's law as it relates to just purely resistive circuits. I'll be covering impedance and capacitors and inductors in a later video. So subscribe for more videos like this. All right. So what we know is from our studies of DC circuits, we know obviously the Ohm's law and power law. So just to kind of remind you a little bit, obviously you've got the famous V is equal to IR, right? Voltage is equal to current times resistance. And you should know the power law P is equal to V times I. And then you should also know obviously how to manipulate these laws, you know, by replacing putting V into the power law, etc. Putting power into, vo into working out voltage. So just a reminder, for example, you can find the voltage by taking the power and dividing it by the current. Likewise, you can find power by taking the current, squaring it, and then times it by R. This is all just basic algebra manipulation, which you should be fairly comfortable with. Likewise, you know, you can find the power by taking the voltage, squaring it, and then dividing it by the resistance, etc., etc., etc. So I'll show you on screen here, we have that circle where it has the power, amps, voltage, and ohms. And it tells you all the different calculations. So just get comfortable with that. As long as you know they exist, you don't really need to memorize them. You can always just Google it, right? So in the last video, we covered RMS values. So RMS values, root mean square values. If you haven't watched that, go back and watch it. Like I said, it's a very, very important part of electrical engineering. So RMS values apply to both voltage and current. So as such, we can use them, the RMS values of voltage and current, in these equations here. So let's first touch on the AC Ohm's law. So just as we have normally V is equal to IR, right? So likewise, we have voltage RMS is equal to I, the current RMS, times by resist resistance. So the thing to keep in mind here is that we're talking about purely resistive circuits, circuits that just have resistance. They don't have any capacitance or inductance so it's not we're not dealing with impedance which is a more advanced topic we're just dealing with just purely resistive circuits here right so v is equal to ir normally so in this instance we just have v rms is equal to i rms times by resistance similarly we have the ac power law and exactly the same thing power dissipated is equal to the current rms multiplied by the voltage rms and just like we did earlier in the video when we were just manipulating the equations, likewise, we can manipulate these ones here as well. What we do, we can do power is equal to voltage squared RMS, right? So you square the RMS voltage and divide it by the resistance. Likewise, if you have the current, you can find the power by squaring the RMS current and then multiplying it by the resistance. So like I said, if you think about back in the last video, the RMS values are equal to like their DC equivalent. So they pretty much, we can take them as DC basically, and we can just use them as we used Ohm's law in our first year of studies, right? Okay, so let's do some examples. Okay, so nice and simple. What would be the current flow through a 100 ohm resistor that's connected to a 120 volt AC outlet, right? So we have, so we have V is equal to IR, right? So we also have V RMS is equal to I RMS, times r okay so we're trying to find the current flow so we just take i rms is equal to v rms uh, divided by the resistance okay so it's 120 volts ac that we've got divide that by the 100 ohm resistor and that gives us 1.2 amps so our rms current flow through that resistor is equal to 1.2 amps okay so why don't you try find the power What's the power dissipated through that resistor? Okay, so P is equal to V times I, right? So P is equal to voltage RMS times I RMS. So we already, we already have the voltage in the question. It's 120 volts. So P is equal to 120. And we just worked out that the current was 1.2 amps. So that gives us P is equal to uh, 144 watts. 
So the power dissipation through that 120 ohm resistor is 140 watts. Okay, so two questions here. A resistor dissipates 200 watts when connected to a 120 volt AC outlet. You've got a resistor that's dissipating 200 watts, right? And it's connected to 120 volts. So we want to know what's the current flow through that resistor and also what's the, what's the value of the resistance. So let's start with the power dissipation, right? So P is equal to IV or VI. I tend to go both ways, so don't get confused by that. But P is equal to IV. So P is equal to I RMS times V RMS. Okay. Then we just divide both sides by V RMS. So that gives us I is equal to P divided by V RMS. I RMS, that should be. There we go. All right. And so our power, it, we know, is 200 watts and our voltage is 120 volts. So that's equal. So the current is equal to 200 divided by 120. And we need to calculate 200 divided by 120. You get 1.66 or 1.67 amps. 1.67 amps. Okay, so we've got the current now. So we now need to find the resistance. So V is equal to IR. Obviously, VRMS is equal to IRMS times resistance. So we just do V divided by I is equal to R to find out the resistance. And so we have the voltage, which is 120 volts. We divide that by the resistance. Well, sorry, we divide that by the current, which is 1.67 amps. 120 divided by 1.67. You get 71.8.6 or 72 ohm resistor. So I just want to point out to you that you could have you could you could have found the resistance without finding the current. And the way that you do that is you do the resistance is equal to the voltage squared divided by the power. So let's let's just go let's just do that together and then I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I've I've made some more space. Let's bring up our calculator. So the voltage is 120 volts, right? So we square that. So we get one four four zero zero. Divide that by the power, which is two hundred. One four four zero zero divided by two hundred. And that gives us 72 ohms. So if you ever get a question in your exam, or even for that matter, even when you're working on actual experiments, when you're actually doing stuff and you find you don't really have enough variables and you're like, okay, well, let me calculate this and then I'll calculate that. Usually you can always skip that middle step. The reason being is because there's always, there's, you can pretty much guarantee that there's been somebody that's way smarter than me and you who has done this before and figured out, oh, I could just skip that, I could just do this instead. So you can see like, if if you wasn't asked to work out the current flow, you could have found the resistance easily. Just square the voltage divided by the power. Okay, cool. Hopefully that was helpful. I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And then in a future video, we'll do the actual proper AC Ohm's law, which involves impedance instead of resistance. Like I said, you can only use these IRMS and VRMS values as it relates to resistive circuits, meaning that, you know, if you think about your, when you first started studying electrical engineering and you were dealing with just resistors, think of that. It's like, so for example, you might have a resistive element inside a heater, which just only, there's no capacitors, it only deals with just resistance. And so therefore, you can use all of these equations. But once you start adding capacitors and inductors into it, then the circuit becomes an impedance circuit and so we need to start including impedance into our calculations so it, it gets a bit it's, it's quite different but we'll cover that in a future video thanks for watching guys peace